But I want to dig in a little bit more to the issues that we're, that we're talking about and what this means for our military families. Because the first time I heard about these issues was at a town hall in January. And a mother showed up and brought pictures of the housing that they were living in, the, told me about the conditions and the health impacts that their families at Tinker Air Force Base, which Mr. Taylor is a Balfour Beatty property. And I was angry and frustrated and hoping it was a limited problem, but sadly found out that it was not. And this is why we're here today. Because the issues that have already been laid out, the infestations, are rampant across Tinker. And it's one of those things that is so outrageous to me that we're not taking care of our service members and their families and the way that they deserve, these people that are putting their lives on the line. And Balfour Beatty has responsibility for 55 different facilities across 26 states, 43,000 homes, and 150,000 people. That is not an insignificant impact. And I'm incredibly disappointed that you have failed to live up to your responsibility for taking care of the people that are living in these, in these houses. It is cheating our military families and our taxpayers, and I've seen it firsthand. My staff and the Secretary of the Air Force and others were just out at Tinker again. There are ongoing problems, and, and I wish that I could say that things were all better, but they're not, because while things have you, pro, while there has been some progress, it seems like every other week there's something else that's coming out. Toxic mold, safety hazards, and just week before last, November 20th, another, yet another report that maintenance records were being falsified to get Balfour Beatty payments that they weren't entitled to. This is not an isolated incident because there are already 65 documented instances over 2016 and 2017 of falsified maintenance records. And according to this same November 20th report, employees of Balfour Beatty had systematically doctored records, not just at Tinker Air Force Base, but at two other bases. This is a systemic problem and the one that we have to fix and you have a lot of work to do to fix it. The image behind me is an image of one of the homes it was brought to me by the families living there at Tinker Air Force Base. So Mr. Taylor, my question to you is, even if times have improved, is this, is this some place that you would want to live or allow your family to live? Congresswoman, that, that picture is unacceptable, absolutely un unacceptable. Thank you, I, I appreciate that. It's just, to me, this is unconscionable and we have to fix it. And it's going to require a lot of effort. It's going to require getting down to the heart of the problem, not just putting Band-Aids and painting over things and patching walls, which is, may make it look good for a few moments, but it's basically like putting Band-Aid on a gaping wound, is, and that's what people have been living with in far too many places. And we have to get to the heart of this issue. In fact, I just spoke to the Secretary of the Air Force earlier today, and what we talked about was the need to get down, and this goes for everybody, we, we've got to get down to the heart of this issue. We've got to stop putting Band-Aids on gaping wounds. We have to identify and get down to, to the core of the issue. So my next question to you is, will you commit to making whatever investments are necessary to put in place long-term solutions solutions of culture, solutions of reorganization, and if it needs to be tearing down properties and starting over to get to the heart of these issues so that we are doing right by our military members and their families. Congresswoman, I, I, I alluded to it in, in my opening remarks. We, we've, we have made significant uh, changes in, in the way that we are conducting our business. Uh, putting clear line of sight for the, the technical issues. These fall in, in, in that area. Uh, clear line of sight all the way up to the top of the organization, and that rests on my shoulders. And, and so I am, I am committed to, and I shall, shall be held accountable for, for the changes that, that we need to make. I, I will be holding you accountable to that. And since we, I only have um, a few seconds left, I also want to follow up with one final question. From the documents I've seen, it, it appears that your company earns about $4.3 million in performance bonuses each year in these properties. Over these years, that is tens of millions of dollars in performance bonuses that were paid out while documented evidence that Balfour Beatty, and 
It doesn't matter if it was an employee down the line. Balfour Beatty was falsifying maintenance records, tens of millions of dollars. What I want to know is that will you commit to taking every single penny, at least, of this money that was paid based on falsified maintenance records to invest that in fixing the problems at all of these housing units? Congresswoman, as, as I mentioned, th those allegations are, are quite shocking to us, and, and we are undertaking a thorough review. I mentioned that we've, we've uh, invested with, with outside counsel to investigate that. The Department of Justice is undertaking an investigation in, into those very same issues. We, we have committed to providing uh, the results of, of, of our findings to the DOJ. In the event that we are found to have uh, falsified records, then we are absolutely committed to refunding uh, any, any uh, incentive fees received back to those projects. And further, in the event that uh, any, of, any of our individuals are found to be at fault, not complying with our code of conduct, which, which we take extremely seriously, to the extent that we find that anybody has, has strayed from our code of conduct, uh, we will take appropriate disciplinary action. Mr. Taylor, I, in, I, in I, we're, 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 I'm over time. I just think that it's important for us to say we are going to continue to work on this, but the confidence that our communities have and that our service members have in their ability to trust their families to your care, collective care, has been seriously eroded and it is going to take a lot of work, transparency and contrition to get to the root of this. Thank you.